Happy Monday, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to Toys of the Universe and everything. Literally everything. This week, we're playing Barnyard Blaster for the Atari 7800. This is what my love of retro gaming has reduced me to. But should you take up target practice with Barnyard Blaster? Or would you be better off using this cart for target practice? Well, like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let's play? No. Let's experience? No. Let's whatever this is. Barnyard Blaster is a light gun game for your Atari 7800, released by Atari in 1988 and is still played by gamers today in their worst nightmares. The premise is simple, shoot everything, except your grandpa. Unless you really want to, then shoot your grandpa. It's not like he taunts you like the duck hunt dog, but according to the story, he did drag you out to this farm where you are forced to shoot all of your farm's invading vermin. You know, vermin, like cans. Bottles, watermelons, pumpkins, ducks, chickens. That's right, don't you be laying any of your eggs on my property, chicken. You repeat this senseless pumpkin violence until you just can't take it anymore and miss enough times on purpose. Then the game will call you a farm-inspired pejorative like hay baler, redneck, or farmer. Because all you need to be a master farmer is the ability to shoot glass bottles over your grandpa's head. Visually, this game looks like it was copied from a clip art coloring book you get as a kid when your school class visits a farm. It's harmless, but incredibly boring to look at. There are only four screens here, but at least there's a freaky glowing Atari symbol on top of your barn. Unlike Crossbow, there is minimal scenery interaction. The only things that will register a hit are the very, very tiny vermin that scuttle across your screen one at a time. The targets are noticeably tiny. It looks like some bean counter at Atari thought they had to pay programmers by the pixel and said, Hey, you keep that graphic tiny, dead gummit. Beyond the size and sparseness of the moving graphics, the real problem here is how tediously boring this game is to look at. At least the graphics aren't offensively bad. Which is a good thing because the sound is offensively bad. You can't play a gun game without looking at it, but you can mute the thing. If you do feel some urge to not play crossbow with your light gun and pop this game in, do not turn up the sound. The sound effects go back and forth between convincing me Satan lives in my 7800, when the bottles fly off the grandpa bonus level, or making me think the ducks, owls, and chickens were sent from Twin Peaks, or convincing me my 7800 is pooping itself when you pull the trigger. The gameplay, oh, this, this sure is a light gun game. There is only one moving target on screen at a time. No reason to stress you out here on the farm? Don't worry though, the questionable accuracy of your Atari light gun will add all the difficulty you need when targeting the teeny tiny farm vermin that your Atari grandpa just can't handle. Playing this game is more of a mental endurance test than a game. How long can you make yourself keep going before unloading your ammo at the scarecrow that does nothing, or the bucket of water that does nothing, or the barn that does nothing, what does that tell you when I'd rather shoot anything but what I'm supposed to be shooting? The game forces you to shoot pumpkins and watermelons. It won't, pr it won't progress until you do. On the other hand, things that gamers have been conditioned to suspect are bonus targets do absolutely nothing. I keep hearing the Wheel of Fish guy from the movie UHF yelling STUPID at me for even thinking I could shoot anything other than the very tiny mice, birds, and things I shouldn't be shooting on a farm. Maybe Grandpa wouldn't have mice problems if he quit shooting barn owls. Shotgun shells are not how you get rid of mice. So I can't believe I'm having to ask this, but do you need Barnyard Blaster in your collection? Well, if you're going for a complete collection and you just want me to validate your life choices, go right ahead. 
For the rest of us, no. You do not need Barnyard Blaster in your life unless you plan on using it for skeets for real target practice. You won't play it unless you're trying to be ironic and show your friends what dumpster fire games Atari was shoveling out there in the late 80s. The sound really is something out of a horror movie, and while it isn't broken, no one is coming to your next game night to play this. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, and no matter what your questions are about toys, the universe, and everything, remember, the answer is always to have fun. And if you have questions about farming, start by not shooting your chickens, ducks, and produce. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I really do appreciate you spending time with me. If you want to help me do more like this, please like and subscribe and share and let me know what you think in the comments about what kind of videos you're interested in and what you think of Barnyard Blaster. Until next time everybody.